Hi everybody, this is Tommy for Tommy's Outdoors and welcome to another vlog in which I would like to address so-called puffin gate. So puffin is a pelagic seabird that nests on the cliffs. In this case we're talking about Atlantic puffin, which has some population on British Isles. There's a population of puffins on Iceland. So puffin gate, in case you didn't hear about it, some weeks ago, I think two weeks ago now, a journalist breaks out a story uh, about uh, UK trophy hunters hunting puffins for trophy in Iceland. Obviously the story is accompanied by the, the usual picture of the guy and the number of uh, dead puffins in front of him. And obviously that story is a great food for recreational outrage. So people start clicking buttons, retweeting and clicking stars and hearts and all these things. And obviously that starts to making bigger and bigger circles. Uh, some other uh, journalists or I think I shouldn't call them journalists but let's say celebrities or personalities are retweeting and liking and more and more people are you know outraged finally uh, major media outlets are picking up the story in their desperate attempts to fill 24 hours of programming and then there's a big deal about UK shooters shooting puffins in Iceland now one journalist Matt Cross who I am <laughs> pleased to say was actually uh, our guest on one of the previous episodes of the podcast, I think it was episode 47. So Matt does what really journalists are supposed to do. They, he grabs the phone, rings up authorities in Iceland and says, hey guys, what's up with the puffins? I'm paraphrasing, of course, but I guess that's how it went. Um, so it turns out that uh, puffins, uh, puffin hunting is a uh, legal thing in Iceland, obviously. They're issuing a licenses and uh, Iceland authorities confirmed that in the previous two years, no UK nationals uh, got a license for shooting puffins. So that proves that the whole story is one big lie. However, I was wondering whether that was really a good response and, and why I was, I, I'm thinking it, it actually wasn't a good response. Because the, the message is, uh, actually indirectly in line with the original outrage cycle, okay? So how it went down is like, oh, there's a big deal, uh, UK shooters are shooting those poor puffins. And then the response of UK shooters is actually, no, 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 we are not shooting puffins and no one, none of us shoot puffins for the last two years. Which indirectly admits that shooting puffins is something bad and, and you know, uh, perhaps should be condemned. So I don't think it was the right response. Um, I think that the right response should be like, yes, the puffins population is managed in Iceland and they're issuing a licenses. And if you wish, you can apply for the license and shoot puffins. Uh, you can find Icelandic papers who are saying that, for example, there is more puffins this year in Iceland than it was since they ever started recording the numbers. There are people in Iceland who grew up hunting puffins and they were raised on puffin meat. So there's a, there's a big tradition in Iceland of hunting puffins and eating puffins. Perhaps pigeon is the analogy that comes to mind. Now, uh, clearly they're managing population because not only they know how many puffins they have and they're tracking their numbers for over years, clearly the licensing process is also uh, quite elaborate and there's a process to it since they are able to tell you how many licenses they issued what is the bag limit and even what nationality was shooters who got the license. Uh, that means that there's a process to it. It's not over the counter tag that you buy in like a post stamp. I think nothing to see here. Uh, across the world we have a managed population when you can buy a tag, apply for a tag and go and shoot a particular bird or, or, or animal. And I know, I know what you're gonna say now is like, oh, but this Iceland making a like, good, good job on managing those puffins. Well, I agree that governments are usually, you know, mildly incompetent in what they're doing in general. However, I would give Icelandic government a little bit of a leeway here because clearly puffins and puffin meat is a traditional thing in Iceland. They're managing their numbers. They have a licensing process. And surely uh, Icelandic authorities know more about their puffin population than some dude in London or in rural England. So that's it for today's blog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to the podcast, do it now. Hit the like button. That helps the channel. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon. You know the drill. And uh, until the next time.